suppose okay suppose that we are given um, a prismatic bar which is a little bit okay. so we want to find out uh, and it is used to transfer torque so we want to find out the stresses uh, that developed in that due to the torque transmitter the maximum torque that can transfer in the member etc so uh, one of the methods to derive to reach uh, the equation for torque and equation for stresses is uh, the Franklin method. Okay. So here um, we have a elliptical cross section which has semi major axis A and semi minor axis B. Okay. So in Franklin method, the equations used are like uh, This is just a reminder of the equation. So, del square phi is equal to minus 2 theta. So, I'll explain them. Uh, this is our Poisson's equation. And hence, this is used in many, this is used in many uh, analogies like uh, the parental membrane analogy of the Kevin's. Uh, flow analogy extra so uh, here phi is the parental stress function g is the modulus of rigidity and theta is the twist by unit length So the relationship between the stresses and phi is sigma x delta or tau x is equal to minus dou phi phi dou phi and sigma y z equal to dou phi by dou x. The relationship between stress and stress function. Well, obviously, I said that we have to find the top transfer. The top transfer is given by T is equal to integral over the area phi d. So, this is the top transfer. Then, that's it. These are the equations that are used in this um, derivation. Okay. So, in Prandtl's method, um, this uh, whatever the stress function, the Prandtl stress function is a, fun is a function of the equation of the boundary. Okay, so the stress function is stress function is proportion of stress function depends on the geometry of the boundary. So for an ellipse, the equation is given by x square plus x square plus y square plus p, y, p square minus 1 is equal to 0. So the stress function is the function of this thing. So uh, it is proportional to this thing. We, know, we don't know what the proportionality constant is. Okay. For that, we will just write phi is equal to k into fxy, where k is a constant or proportionally constant. So we know that this uh, thing should satisfy the governing equation del square phi is equal to minus 2 theta we just substitute it so uh, substituting for phi phi I, I have uh, chosen as a thing so I'll substitute for phi so obviously you can see that uh, if we double differentiate with respect to x only this term will persist or this term will give us 2 and we double differentiate with respect to y this term will give us so what we will be left with is uh, 2k by a square plus 2k by b square equal to minus 2k theta. So we will get theta, so or k is equal to minus g theta a square b square by b square plus b square. So we got an equation for k. Yeah, I know this thing. This should be, sorry, this should be x square by square y square by b square 1 to d. Okay. So uh, we can pull 
two k outside, we will get uh, integral over the area x bar by e square root dA plus uh, this thing. So this is obviously uh, this as this is a constant, we will get i y y by e square. So it's i x x by e square. This is the area. So i x x is uh, by four a b cube. Y y is by four b a cube and area of the ellipses by the sub substituted substituted and simplified we will get t is equal to g theta pi a cube a cube by e square plus e square okay that is just simplification okay so uh, the torsional stiffness is given by t by theta this is torsional stiffness t by theta is g into by a q p q by a square plus b square now the equation for stresses uh, sorry this should be negative it should be positive so the equation for stresses is this thing um, this should be phi yeah, just substitute for phi that is uh, in even in terms of k is enough the, uh, I would run it here. That's why is equal to this thing. So uh, k is minus t by a. So we will have minus 2 by t a b square into y or minus 2 t by. So this can be written in terms of uh, g and d dash. This is equal to 2 y by a b square. And k is minus t theta e square e square by e square plus e square. So e square root by e will cancel it out. So we get sigma x z equal to minus t t theta by e square plus e square square y and y z to theta by e square plus square root of e square x and obviously we can find out sigma resultant Following the elliptical section, we will look at the circular section because um, circular section is, is very uh, is comparatively easy, uh, easier compared to elliptical section. Okay. So, uh, and we will, this is just to check whether we will arrive at the torsion equation, whether this is right. So, what we do is, as I mentioned earlier, that uh, the stress function is a function of the boundary, the shape of the boundary. So f of x, y is a x square plus y square minus v square, we, uh, e would be the uh, radius of the circle. Okay, so i is equal to k into v square plus y square minus v square. So following the same method, that is, uh, we should have del square phi is equal to minus 2g theta that should be the necessary condition for uh, phi to for phi so as we have chosen a, a, a constant proportional the constant we have to find the proportional the constant so what we do is we just substitute this thing into this thing and we will get k is equal to minus g theta by 3 so 
remove in here, we will get minus g to w2, x square plus y square minus x square. So as I, was, as I mentioned earlier, t is equal to 2 into the over the area, phi dA. So phi I have minus g theta by x square plus y square minus y square, but we will just substitute this, so we will get um, 2 into the over the area, minus g theta by 2, x square plus y square minus y square. Into the so we know that in the i x x x x is equal to the body of y square plus and so on. So what we will get us uh, this would be anyway g theta is a constant g theta by q is a constant pull it out e is a constant so the lower the area x square d will give us i the y the lower the area y square d will give us i x x and the lower the area d is so this is uh, as we know that the radius is e so we will get it as pi by 4 e square this is also pi by 4 e square here is pi by pi e square so you can substitute this. So we will get uh, g theta pi is raised to 4 by 2. And this is the top transpiration. Okay. So the same thing that we did earlier, we can find the stresses. Sigma x is equal to minus pi phi pi pi sigma y is equal to pi phi by two. So substituting the values of phi, we will get as g theta y and sigma is what we get as pi by two. Sigma x is square plus sigma y is square. G theta and okay. So we can one we can compare this that is sigma is equal to sigma uh, or tau r by e is equal to g theta the theta is the uh, angle of twist in length and we also have t is equal to g theta pi e square by 2 so this is the polynomial definition pi IP. So from this thing we will get is equal to theta. So this is the schema. The dot 